Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Film Technologies. And in this episode, we are going to learn about how to run energy analysis. So there are two analyses that we are going to run. One is the building performance analysis and the other is the HVEC analysis. Now let's see what is the process of doing the energy analysis. Now the first part of create of the first step towards the energy analysis would be to create an energy model. Now let's see where are the tools. The tools are present in the analyze tab and in the analyze tab there is an energy optimization panel over here and there are various tools. Let's see what are the tools we have. There is a tool for system zones that create a system zone for analytical space. There is a tool for create energy model which creates the energy analytical model. There is a tool for optimizing which access the energy and environmental performance data in Autodesk Insight. And then we have another option called the generate tool which is the creates the gen energy model and generate design options and potential performance outcomes with Insight 360. And then we have the systems analysis which performs a system analysis and generates a report for whole building energy simulation. And before starting with the analysis, there is an analysis called the, this, there is a settings called for the energy settings. Now let's start with creating the energy model. Go to the 3D view of the floor plan for the, me uh, for the mechanical 3D view. So you are in the 3D view and then there is an option for creating the energy model. The moment you click here, creating the energy model. Now Revit will initiate creation of the energy model. So the energy model, the, mo the moment the energy mo model is created, a separate view name as analytical spaces view is created and it is displayed in the view tab. Now. Here we have the spaces for the energy analysis, but before that we have there is an analytical surface also that is created. Now if you want to see the en energy spaces, so if you select the space over here and if you isolate this model over here, so you got its isolate element, you can see there is a space, a bounded space over here which is having different values that you can see, the area, the volumes and so on. So, but there is a surface also that uh, basically is generated but it is not visible right now. In order to see the surface what we need to do is we have to go to the visibility graphics override dialog box by choosing the visibility or graphics tool. Now in this dialog box there is an analytical model category. So here in the analytical model category you open the analytical spaces and there are various spaces that is seen the check boxes are selected. Choose the apply option and you can see the spaces are displayed here. So there is a surface over here you can see there is an analytical surface here. So if you see this is a heat transfer coefficient, thermal resistance, thermal mass, area, azimuth value, tilt angle, all things are given in the analytical surface. So to, there are two things that is created along with the energy model. One is the space and the other is the surface. Now before we start with the energy analysis that we can initiate from the analyze from the systems analysis we have to set the settings. We have to specify the settings for the energy by choosing the energy settings dialog box. So in the energy settings dialog box, there are two parameters, two types of parameters. One is a parameter for the analytical model and the other is the other options which sets the detail model, advanced parameters, building data and so on. Material, thermal properties, room space data and so on. So let's go to the analytical model parameters. So here the mode would be the building element or you can use the room or spaces. Use only element visible in the current view, that is fine. Ground plane is ground floor. Project face, these are the resolution of the spaces and the surface. It, it will basically define how precise the analysis would be in creating the surface. And then you have the average vertical void height threshold, the default value is given. Horizontal void or chase area threshold, the default value is given and then you have the folder path where the report will be. You can change the folder path. Now if you choose the edit option for the other options parameter. So some of 
the things that you can change as export complexity so when you are exporting this as an energy model so you have different options to set for the complexity of the surface so by default it is simple and complex surfaces then you have the sliver space tolerances for the gaps building envelope parameters that you need to have use function parameter the other option is identify exterior parameters building service you can have different option i'm taking a vav dual duct here and then the building infiltration class you can have a tight option over here there are three options tight loose medium so i'm taking a tight option here and then there are different building data like it is an office building operation schedule so you can change the operation schedule from 24 7 facilities to 24 7 facilities the hvac systems you can have a central vav hw chiller 5.96 cop boilers 84.0 eff so you can have a four pipe fan coil system over here and then you can go for an export category of the surfaces you can have it as spaces so these are the settings and then you have the conceptual types like for example you can select what are the exterior wall and the other parameter would be for the different envelopes and then you have the schematic types for the material you can select it and then you can define the schematic type by clicking on the building option so here you can override the values for the analytical construction so with this choose the ok option and here we finish the settings now to run the analysis you can click on the systems analysis you have got two analysis that you can perform one is the annual building energy simulation other is the hvac system loads and sizing let's do it one by one and see what is the report so i'm running the annual building energy simulation and the report name is building simulation report and here we have it is getting saved at a different part you can see here the settings is there and then we run the analysis it will take some time to run the analysis set some analysis is calculating in the background now here you can see that the building performance analysis report has been created at the by the cloud so here the report you can find out under the reports area under the analysis reports head and there's a building simulation report so here you can see that there are various tabs regarding the report we have the annual overview tab the monthly overview tab and then you have got different other tabs under the monthly overview and then you have the warnings the major warning summary then if you go back you would see that there are different summaries of the consumptions of the energy at the different periods of the time so let's understand one of them let's say i go to the first the annual overview Tab and it says that it's an open studio results it talks about the end use view table and there are different colored legions which is given for cooling interior equipment interior lighting and heat heating and here you can see the pie chart over here which says that the cooling is about 54 percent it takes the energy consumption of 54 percent as well as if we see for the interior equipment it takes about the 19 percent of the equipment energy interior lighting take the 17 percent of the energy and the heating takes the 11 percent of energy and then you have the energy electricity that the district cooling and the electricity and district heating so you have got different pie charts over here with different colors so then you have this the bar chart over here which shows about the energy consumption in kilowatt hour there are various tables you can see if you click on the table it will show you about the consumption between from the from january to december so let's take an example here for the interior lighting the consumption over here is in kilowatt hour so it says for the building the january consumption is 3 to 18.61 kilo hour in the february it is to 2808.19 kilo hour and so on so these are some some reports that you can see interesting reports that you can generate by using the analysis building performance analysis now again we will go with the, the 3d view and we will perform the hvac analysis to do so again we have to go to the systems analysis tool and then you can take the hvac systems load and sizing then give the report so i'm naming it as hvac systems analysis or systems load and sizing so choose the run analysis button it goes with the analysis at the it says that the systems analysis is calculating in the background 
we need to wait because it is in the backdrop in the cloud the analysis is performed now you can see the hvac system has been generated the report has been generated click on the hvac system reports and the report heading over here in the project browser so you have got the system load summary which is not found because the system has not been defined but the zone load summary you have got different spaces here let's say we need to know about the not zone so it is saying that for the not zone there is a cooling and heating option over there so for the cooling we have the time at peak is 430 at 721 this is the date and outside temperature and we have different values over here which shows about the heating and cooling load and you have got different uh, load factors like the instant sensible load for the glass conduction, delayed sensible load, latent heat and the total load that is there. So if you move it till right the side you have got the total load for each of the items over here in the envelopes and the percentage of contribution the maximum percentage you can see is 41 point total is 41.9 and you can see the percentage is 28.6 that is the glass for solar. So this is what is the report it says and similarly you can have for the heating calculations you can see the different reports are there. So this was a video that was dedicated towards the energy analysis both for the building simulation as well as the HVAC systems. Hope you have liked this video. Please like and subscribe our channel and in the next video we will learn how to start with HVAC modeling. Thank you.